Goku and Universe 7 were exempt from the Terra power. Just when they thought they were out of water, they had no idea what's coming for them, as a destroyer from Universe 7 is on his way. In the last part, we mentioned that Goku went and he transformed into his Master Ultra Instinct. Upon using his Master Ultra Instinct power, Goku easily went and he turned the table on Black Frieza. Black Frieza didn't stood a chance against Goku no matter what he would do, Goku would easily overpower him as he killed him with the Hakai Kamehameha wave. From there, Goku has now heard about the tournament power, but Universe 7 was exempt from the tournament due to the fact Universe 7 has a high mortal level. After being exempt, Daishinkin wanted Goku to display his power as he went and he fought all the destroyers that were there and he easily went and beat them by using his Master Ultra Instinct. Goku was proved to be the strongest destroyer there is as he came back to his home to celebrate with his loved ones but little did he know. One destroyer has come back to life as he wants nothing but vengeance and he wants to kill Goku. What is going on my Z fans? Welcome back to another part of What If Goku Became Beerus. Before we get into this What If, please drop me a like. I'll greatly appreciate it. It shows you guys some of my hard work and all. And if you haven't already clicked the bell yet, what are you guys waiting for? Click it so you'll be the first to know when the next episode comes out. And make sure you check out Hero of Z. It is pinned inside the comment section below. Check it out. Trust me, you're going to really love that series. Universe 7 has been exempt from the Tournament of Power, as Goku came right back to Universe 7 to tell his loved ones the good news, and everyone was very impressed on hearing that Goku's power was so strong that he was able to go and beat the entire destroyer that were there. No one stood a chance against Goku, that's how powerful he was. Whis was very proud of Goku, as he couldn't imagine that Beerus would do such a progress compared to Goku, and he can't believe just how amazing Universe 7 has become. Making Goku the destroyer was the right choice. Mirus on the other hand was also happy since he really loves his universe and he loves to protect everyone and seeing that Goku is a very good and active destroyer, Mirus was very proud to call him his destroyer. Time to time Goku and Mirus would leave to different planets to help mortals seeing that they're in trouble from bad people and Goku would Hakai them as a destroyer and he was able to fix time and stuff like that and Mirus would be there to back him up just to see if he needs any help as they would go on their own mission doing that far in an unknown galaxy. Makarov has now come back to life, thanks to Hearts. Heart went and he used a Super Dragon Ball and he managed to make a wish for Makarov to be alive again. Just before the turn of power could begin, he was able to squeeze that wish in, as Makarov was the very first destroyer for Universe 7 and when he came back, he saw that Heart was the one who revived him and from there Heart looked towards him and said, I'm gonna need you to tell me exactly how powerful you are. And my goal here is to rule the entire universe. I want to kill the Omni King. Kill the Omni King? You're telling me you're that powerful that you could do that? Ha! Huh. You have no idea. I have something called the Universe Seed. With using that, I'll be able to easily kill the Omni King. And upon doing so, no one will come in my way. Universe Seed? Damn. I never heard of such thing. Tell me more about this Universe Seed and tell me more about this Goku fella. Well, he did kill Beerus to become the destroyer from what I know. And from there he has turned Universe 7 around. He brought back Planet Vegeta which gave a huge mortal boost to the universe. And he continues to go and destroy any bad people that come in the way. Ew. A destroyer helping the good? How sick is that? That's the reason why I will kill this Goku person. I'll make sure he knows who Makarov is. My lord Makarov, can we now have a partnership agreement that I'll be the one to go and kill Zeno and from there we could rule the universe together? I don't like you either. The fact that you have something as dangerous as this universe seed, it is time I kill you. As Makarov has been revealed. It is time I end you right here. Your terror of ruling this entire universe will come to an end. Goodbye, foolish creature. How dare you! I'm the one who- Before he could say another word, he has been Hakai. Now you'll be next, Goku. Get ready to fight me, Makara the Destroyer. I'll show you why they call me the Destroyer King. I'm gonna make sure I end your life. <laughs> As he began on his own crusade. Back on planet Vegeta, 
Goku was there with Vegeta and other Z fighters, as they're all there to see just how much Planet Vegeta has progressed. Goku was very impressed to see that his father Bardock was continuing to get stronger, while his brother Raditz and his mother Gine were also getting stronger, and from there everyone on the planet were now obtaining God Key, as they're now learning what God Key is and they were trying to adapt to that power. You could say most of the people from Planet Vegeta was trying to learn Super Saiyan God, as Goku and Mirrors and Whis was there to make sure they can help Planet Vegeta because Goku's goal was that once when everyone knows how to go into Super Saiyan God and even Super Saiyan Blue, they'll be going around the universe to save everyone's life. Anyone that's in danger, the Saiyans will be there to save them. That is their new story and that is their new mission. They're gonna no longer conquer Planet for Freeze or anyone, instead they're gonna be fighting the good for Goku. Goku since is the destroyer for Universe 7, he gave his blessing to the Saiyans to continue with their training so they could begin this re mission. While that was happening, Goku and everyone saw a spaceship has now arrived towards planet Vegeta and that spaceship was no one other than Gas. Gas has come out as he had one mission and that was to destroy anything that comes in his way but when he heard planet Vegeta was alive he had to come check it out for himself. When Goku saw Gas, from there Gas looked towards everyone and said, oh man. I have finally arrived to this pathetic world. I cannot believe it's brought back. Who the hell are you? And why are you on my planet? Ah, so they are some stubborn Saiyans after all, huh? I'm here to kill you. And once I do, I'm gonna steal all your guys' power too. No one can come in my way. I'm in a crusade to go and show that I'm the strongest one to ever. Before Gas can say another word, Goku instantly came right behind him and he went and Hakai'd Gas, getting to erase from existence. That was so easy for you, Kakarot. <laughs> All these guys will never learn. No one can stand a chance against me. Wait, what the? What is that power? As Goku was able to sense Makarov, and since he's a destroyer, he was the only one able to sense it. But Jiren and everyone else was troubling on what's going on since they have God Key. How come they can't sense it? Because that is too far for them to sense. Goku sensed that Makarov's power was unbelievable, and that he was not inside any ordinary place. He ended up becoming on King Kai's world. From there, Goku quickly went and he instant transmission to King Kai's world. On King Kai's world, Goku has now arrived as he saw that King Kai was lying dead. Seeing that King Kai died got Goku really upset as he couldn't believe that King Kai is dead. And from there, Goku saw someone has arrived and said, <laughs> I've been waiting for you, and now you have arrived right in front of me. This will be fun. Who the hell are you? And are you responsible for this? That is right. You can call me Makarov. Makarov? What the hell is that? And how dare you kill King Kai? I'm gonna make you pay! <laughs> Pipe down there. This was the only way for me to bring you towards me. Now that I have your attention, I am the very first destroyer. For this universe, I have been brought back and when I heard just the stuff you have done and how you managed to change this universe, it gets me to vomit. I'm here to kill you, so I could be the true ruler of this entire universe. Huh, is that so? Okay then, you want the title of being a destroyer? You got it, but for that you got to kill me. That's what I'm here for, Goku. I'm here to kill you, and once I do, Whis will work under me again. And when he does, I'll make sure I get him to bend the knees, and I'll surpass even the angels. But for that, I'm gonna steal all of your power. Well then bring it on, you monster! As Goku went, and he transformed into his Super Saiyan God Destroyer mode. Alright then, let's see what you got. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Your power. Before he could say another word, Goku instantly came right in front of him and he striked him right in his face, getting Makarov to be sent flying. Makarov was impressed to see that Goku's Super Saiyan God power mixed with his destroyer mode was impressive, as he couldn't believe that he has kinda underestimated Goku's power, and with that he got right back up and said, Okay then, I was taking you lightly. Let's do another round. Makarov powered up his key as the second round began and with that both of them went and they charged towards one another and their power clashed as they were going at it back and forth. And with each landing blow, the entire world was shaking 
as Makarov and Goku were, fighting to see who will be the stronger one. Makarov thus has a mission to kill Goku at any cost, while Goku wanted to go and avenge King Kai and protect his legacy. From there, Goku went and punched Makarov in his face, as Makarov managed to dodge it and he destroyed Goku's arm. Goku managed to go and use his ki to heal it up, as Makarov went and powered up a Hakai Blast and aimed it right towards Goku. Goku decided to go and use his full power as he went and dispersed the attack, and with that, Goku went and he screamed. Goku has now gone and transformed into his Master Ultra Instinct. Upon using his Master Ultra Instinct power, Goku looked towards Makarov and said, You're one disgusting destroyer, have to see why you have died. I haven't died, I have been betrayed by the angel, and with that all the angels managed to seal me away, and they thought they killed me, but this foolish mortal heart revived me, and because of that, I am here for my revenge. This is all you got? <laughs> Your puny Ultra Instinct won't save you. What? Goku went and tried right towards him, and he struck Makarov right in his face, getting Makarov to fall right towards the ground. From there, Goku then let Makarov get up, as the Instinct came right next to him, and he began to attack him and punch him in his face. Makarov managed to go and separate himself with Goku and said, Okay, Goku, I see you're really strong. Is that all the power you got? Yeah, <laughs> you're acting like you have more power than this. Show me what you got yourself, Makarov. It will be my pleasure. Let me show you my destroyer mode. Makarov has now gone and used his destroyer mode, as his key was overflowing and with that Weez was able to sense it and everyone has sensed that this power was outrageous as they couldn't believe what they're sensing. Goku on the other hand was very shocked to see that Makarov's power has gained this much and said, What the hell? How are you this powerful? You forgot my title. I am the Destroyer King. Makarov instantly came right in front of Goku and he's jabbed him right in his stomach, getting Goku to gasp for air and with that he kicked him in his face. Goku fell right towards the ground. Once when Goku then got up, he was barely standing as he, that hit was really a big impact on Goku's body. But before he could do anything, Makarov came right next to him and he began to beat the shit out of Goku. Goku went and used 100% of his Master Ultra Instinct power as he powered up a massive Kamehameha wave and he aimed it right towards Makarov. Makarov went and he caught it with one hand and he dispersed it like if it was nothing. Makarov then powered up a Hakai Blast and said, It was fun fighting you mortal, but now I'll become the destroyer for this universe. Goodbye. As he aimed the blast right towards Goku. Goku couldn't believe that he was able to disperse his Kamehameha wave and from there the blast was about to hit Goku but before he can, Goku saw he has been teleported away as the blast has now destroyed in the entire King Kai's world and now Makarov was in space looking around and said, I don't sense his power, does that mean he died? <laughs> what a weakling, couldn't handle my destroyer key. Alright then, time to begin my crusade. On Zeno's world, Goku had arrived there with Supreme Kai, as he has come last second to save Goku's life and he instant transmission away, saving him towards Zeno's world. As Goku saw Daishiki was in front of him and said, It's about time you have arrived Goku, we need to talk. Huh? Supreme Kai? <laughs> Grand Priest? What's going on? To find out what happened my Z fans, you have to click the bell as we're going to end things right here and now the finale is coming in the next part. Will Goku find the power he needs to defeat this Makarov, the King of Destroyer or is Makarov going to go on his crusade to destroy anything that comes in his way? All this will be answered in the finale. Make sure to click the bell so you'll be the first when the next episode comes out. And if you haven't checked out my backstory hero of Z, it is pinned inside the comment section below. Check it out. Trust me, you're going to really love that series as it is an ongoing series. <laughs>